Hello, I'm Adam. It's finally there. It's the sexy knob for the new Model Y Juniper. Let's unbox it. Okay, so we've got the commander which is pretty light, we've got the knob and what's the difference in this model? I think for, Uni for Juniper we've got uh, this uh, oh my gosh. it feels plastic and yeah so uh, Juniper has a little bit different design but in general it's very much same uh, Oh, okay. So <laughs> I could expect that we are rotating the outer ring uh, and the display, of course, is in its position. Uh, knob is, yeah, it feels okay. It feels premium. Uh, buttons and the casing, mm, it could be better. Yeah, that. Yeah, and there we've got sexy knob to the car and the USB. Okay, next, what we've got there? Okay, we've got cablings and we've got braided USB C cable. And what next? I have totally no idea. Some kind of a rubber and oh, prying tool and two, one cable. We've got only one cable, so we, we have to install it in a selected place. Uh, we don't got cho choose, uh, what? We, we don't got choice uh, to connect it to the front or uh, rear. Uh, I have no idea at this moment where I have to connect it. Yeah, but it looks like, oh my gosh, it's pretty light. Can we open it? Okay. Made on Earth by other humans. Ah. Yeah, I thought that's <laughs> there. We've got the SP32 broom. Okay, so what we've got there? Uh, let me see. Okay, yeah, that's so... Uh, very basic thing. Uh, so we've got the ESP32 room. Uh, we've got MCP, I don't see, 251. Then we've got some, what we've got there? A VP. Oh, interesting. And yeah, the power. And nothing more. Yeah, so in general, what we've got there? Of course, programming pins. Of course, uh, power converter. Uh, some capacitors, some diodes uh, to maybe uh, prevent incorrect uh, connection, uh, CAN controller and CAN gateways. So, oh, maybe two, there are available two CANs, so uh, they are using, uh, yeah, they are using, con they, we are connecting to two CANs. And yeah, power, ground, and maybe two cans, <laughs> and that's it. Well, okay, and of course in the package we've got, um, okay, 20 watts, quick charger, uh, it's very, very light. Output, 5 volt, 3 amp, uh -huh, for sure, okay. But I'm very curious what's inside of the knob itself. I would bet nothing special like maybe another ESP. And of course uh, it's all at uh, display so nothing, uh, a lot, nothing spectacular is needed. But yeah, just from curiosity. I think no one showed that so. <laughs> 
there is no any warranty seal or something so I take it as yes you can okay 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 again we see that it's made on the earth that's great oh it's not Highland and uh, okay oh my gosh <laughs> fortunately those USBs are not being let's say used more than maybe a few times yeah uh, a lot of screws uh, because the buttons need to hold well okay So what we've got there, of course, yeah, another ESP32 <clears throat> and uh, what we've got there, of course, buttons, some coil, capacitors, I just uh, let you take a look and you will find that instead of me reading, yeah, probably you should go to the focus. now and maybe now <clears throat> well summarizing nothing's there <laughs> okay so uh, wow i mean uh, that's big achievement to let two esp32s work uh, together uh, amazing on bluetooth uh, and yeah so, in general, uh, we are getting from the USB probably only power, but yeah, maybe those modules are something that, those uh, chips are something that, yeah, do something extra, or maybe that's just the OLED uh, screen uh, driver. Yeah, yeah, because uh, of course, if you buy a standard OLED screen, it comes with the driver. But in this case, yeah, they had to put it. But yeah, so in general, uh, the big secret is uh, decoding the CAN messages. So they got somehow DBCs, and uh, that's the oh, there is a motor, okay, yeah. So yeah, that, that's the big secret, that they've got the DBCs and they know how car is uh, speaking and they can speak in same, <laughs> let's say, language. And that's all in general, nothing's there. But I like those black uh, PCBs and... Okay guys, let's try to install this uh, commander. I heard that it's easy, so I will just try to... Uh, do it right on the parking in the middle of city and I heard that I need to pull it somehow like this maybe like there okay okay and now there is a clip that we want to extract and of course it's <laughs> a, yeah. that's not right tool to this clip I would use just a screwdriver but maybe oh there we've got I think that's how it's supposed to be and now if we remove rubber I could pull it out somehow let's see how it will work okay <clears throat> well I've got problems with this as you can see but Okay, remove it, but not a great way, and... <laughs> oh, 
There it is. Okay. Okay, it looks similar. So I have to connect there and yeah that's how it should go I have no idea what I'm disconnecting right now okay mm, well as you, as you can see, okay, and the tutorial said that I need to connect it there and green LED. Yay! Okay, and now generally they pack everything uh, there and and that's it. But uh, I've got some zip ties and I would just make those cables uh, fixed. And I think that's fine. I just uh, used two zip ties, one there and one there, and yeah, maybe just third one, but that's totally not required. Okay, and that's it. Okay, now we need to close it somehow. We need just to connect only power supply, but in Juniper we need to use <laughs> this. Uh, charger because there we've got only a 12 volt plug or 12 lighter port so like this and really like that oh my gosh Okay. Okay, now it fits pretty nicely and it's installed. 